just on January 6 alone, we were able to meet the needs of evacuees and to provide relief efforts through um, the form of gift giving on the most important day of the Puerto Rican ritual calendar, which is Three Kings Day, uh, El Dia de los Reyes Magos. Besides those efforts um, that speak to the rescue and um, the relief, we have now engaged as well on the rebuilding effort. And we have chosen a number of projects. One of them is to rebuild La Escuela de Artes Plásticas y Diseño of Old San Juan. That is one of the few, uh, if not the only, uh, independently run uh, art school in Puerto Rico of higher learning. And uh, it trains some of the best artists in Puerto Rico. And that has been definitely, was definitely impacted as a result of Hurricane Maria, as a result of the economic crisis in Puerto Rico, um, an economic crisis that continues to inform uh, much of what's happening in the island. And when I speak about Maria, I said, we're, we're obviously, we faced a natural uh, catastrophe in Puerto Rico that was exacerbated by an un, by our natural causes that are deeply rooted in Puerto Rico's relationship to the United States, and particularly uh, unveil this hurricane, unveil that relationship, that colonial relationship, and the, um, the problems of PROMESA, the problems of the oversight board, the problems of the colonial government of Puerto Rico, and of the emergency efforts of FEMA. Now, um, in this effort, we're, we're taking the school of La Escuela de Artes Plástica, and we're really developing a relationship that will be long lasting. Uh, we just did the first uh, attempt uh, to uh, address the needs of La Escuela de Artes Plástica. Uh, was organized by a group of artists here that included Richard Santiago, uh, uh, Daniel Delgado, um, uh, uh, Jeneira Rivera, Christian Roldan, and many other artists who actually did a weekend event called Rican Renaissance on Paseo Boricua, the first major festival of art, uh, Puerto Rican art in Chicago. And Richard Santiago himself was able to engage 20 artists in Puerto Rico where they raised, many of whom are affiliated with La Escuela de Arte Plástica, and was able to raise selling their artwork over $7,000. In addition to that, we raised um, another uh, $3,000 um, that we made available to La Escuela de Artes Plásticas uh, directly as a, a micro grant. And in addition to that, um, the uh, Urban Theater Company under the leadership of Ivan Rivera, Ivan uh, Vega has done an amazing job in raising money for La Escuela de Arte Plástica. They did a three-day showing at the Vitam Theater of La Gringa, a production of Urban Theater, and they were able to raise through that effort $10,000. I think, um, as a side note, I should say that we have engaged the imagination of all uh, the sectors of the Puerto Rican community. This is one of those um, indicators of that, but I should also add that, for example, Chef Amaury Rosado, uh, sponsor an amazing gourmet Puerto Rican dinner, that that in itself raised for the relief effort over $7,000. And that in itself was uh, obviously employing another uh, creative mechanism of, of the Puerto Rican culinary arts. Um, so um, we have obviously been able to raise for the Escuela de Arte Plástica and for Puerto Rican artists uh, easily uh, nearly $12,000 as of right now, uh, not um, including the 10000 that Urban Theater raised. Additionally, we have added another uh, major 
a rebuilding campaign for us, which is to rebuild the independent newspaper Claridad, which is the only independent newspaper in Puerto Rico that has existed. Next year, it will be uh, celebrating its 60th anniversary, uh, founded by the legendary uh, Juan Maribra in 1959, uh, and um, obviously uh, has brought through its years of existence some of the best journalistic minds and journalists in Puerto Rico. Um, Claridad also faced a huge crisis after Maria, and we have already raised literally over $7,000 for Claridad, which we have sent to Puerto Rico. And now we have a GoFundMe Claridad uh, initiative, which we hope to be able uh, to garner uh, support for this independent voice in this age of the so-called fake news, we need the kind of journalism that um, Claridad has produced over the years and that we hope will continue to produce uh, for centuries to come.